And just like that, we're back. This is the conversation with Oracle Beatty Smith. Welcome. Hey everybody, it's me. I am uh, so excited to be here today. I wanted to bring you a word, a conversation uh, on living life, loving yourself, and you know, really uh, living for why we're here, which is to spread more love through the power that was given to us by God, by all, and that really connects us and allows us to uh, choose to be together uh, as well as for just enjoy what it means to be an individual. Today I wanted to talk about a couple of things, um, but we'll just start really light and I'll just tell you um, what I know. And that's that there's something special about you. There's something unique about you. And we really all wanna see it. We don't want you to hide it and feel like these differences, if exposed, um, would make us question, you know, what are you doing? You know, or why do you think you can do that? No, no, those things don't matter. What really matters is that we get to see the real you. We get to see all of who you are. And the world is just, you know, in a void without that. A lot of the times we feel voids within ourselves that we can't explain. We feel things inside that we don't want to tell anybody we are feeling because we don't even know how to put it into words. And it's not a good feeling. Now, of course, there are times when we also have these feelings and it's good and we still can't explain it. But we're like, there's something going on in in me that is amazing. And yeah, we want that experience more than we want the times where we feel this emptiness. One is not going to happen without the other. Let me tell you that. This world is very balanced. It's mathematical. It's exacting. It's geometrical. It's whole. So we have to be able to experience both and read into both and discover inside of ourselves what we're saying through these feelings. But one thing that I know sometimes can be what that void is saying, if we focus just on that space for right now, sometimes what that void is saying to us is that you need to share and express yourself. There is something in you that needs to be exposed. There is something in you that needs to be acknowledged. And sometimes it just requires us to acknowledge what is keeping that thing in us inside what is not allowing us to be self-expressed, causing us to feel the void of inexperience. Our life here on earth is about experience. And when we hold ourselves back and we don't self-express, we end up not experiencing the things that we came here to do. We came here to see and feel and touch. And the void is natural. It's like, I'm not being served. I am not living at my fullest. There's more to me than this. So it's really not a negative thing to fill these voids. It's a call of creativity to step up and be yourself to step up and know that you're special, to step up and know that your uniqueness is worthy to be seen and heard and not for the sake of being seen or heard, but for the sake of doing what you have the right to do, which is experience yourself in your wholeness 
as an example of the universe in a totality of person. Yes, we are one. We are connected. We cannot escape that truth. But we chose to incarnate in a 3D reality that gives us the illusion of separation so that we can experience things and bring our uniqueness into communication with all because it's one thing to experience the whole universe at once. I mean, really think about if God did not choose to create this particular reality where we could be separate and we really were all knowing, all seeing, you know, we really were living the true essence of oneness, which really is no identification. It's no separation. It doesn't have a name. It is all one. Consider if we chose to live like that, still aware of ourselves, yet completely connected and in wholeness. It would be a beautiful thing. You know, do not doubt. One day I'll tell you about my experience when I left my body and went into the presence of the all and and what I felt and, and what happened. You know, I'll do a podcast just on that for you. But with my experience of that and the intoxication that it is, the only thing that you get to say when you are in the presence of all, the only thing that you really can focus on when you are in that space of bliss is love. I mean, you are literally tethered to, tied to, and know nothing else except for love and hallelujah for it. So yeah, I mean, I, again, I mean, in that story snippet, I went into a major depression when I came back to my body and realized that I had to continue to move through this process, figuring out who I am. You know, my my mindset, my cynicism, my pessimism came right back to me. And instead of me seeing my experience of leaving my body and going to heaven as a turning point in my life, I condemned myself. I set myself to the side. I confused myself. My worthiness was was shown in that moment, but at the same time, I was confused on how am I worthy to experience that, but I am not worthy enough to figure out how to pay my bills or how to not spend all the money on things that don't allow me to pay my bills. I didn't still didn't have that 3D reality mindset in my head. All I had was this experience of knowing that I am loved by God. And it was confusing even the more after that. But now eight years later, I'm really starting to allow that experience to influence me, to understand how beautiful it is to be here. And just to know clearly that where I come from, where I will return to, and where all of the loved ones that I have, where they are is a place where there is only love and hallelujah. And everyone is there. You know, I keep saying I'm going to do a separate podcast, but it seems to all be coming now. But I want to go back. I want to go back to what we were talking about, about you being special, about you being unique, about the voids that come into our life to say, hey, express that uniqueness, express that you are limiting me. You are limiting me by not experiencing the things that are there for you to experience. You are limiting me by agreeing with the limitations and not pushing beyond that to figure out where you are free. You are limiting me. And it is unnecessary because on the other side, you've experienced those moments of bliss that you cannot explain in the same body with the same mind, carrying the same name. You have experienced these moments that you cannot explain that you are filled, that you feel whole, that you are grateful and appreciative. Where does those feelings come from? And how can the void be filled with those feelings as well? Now, the void wasn't made for those feelings. The void was made for a different awareness to alert you of a different thing, to show you the other extreme of your ability to feel. Don't be afraid to feel 
your feelings. Don't be afraid to feel the bliss and don't be afraid to feel the emptiness. Both are healthy for us because we are made to feel both of these things or it wouldn't be happening. It is a part of the mathematics of this universe or it wouldn't be happening. It is a part of what is in the in-between space of the geometry that makes us a perfected and connected universe. It is a part of it. And because it's a part of it, it is important that we tune in, that we don't run away from fear, that we don't run away from void, that we step and we face it and we say, I have a new understanding of what the word fear means to me. I have a new understanding for what this void is. This is a calling within myself to step up and listen and hear so that I may know what beautiful experience, what beautiful part of me is trying to emerge and show me a new way, a new life, a new chapter. There is something in my atmosphere that wants me that I am not in tune with and this void is telling me to look. There is something in my energy that wants to be expressed and I am not paying it any mind and this void is saying, listen. There is something special about me, something unique about me. And I care enough to rename fear as a friend. To rename this uncomfortable feeling, this feeling that is the complete opposite of the joy that I feel when I'm in full gratitude. I am renaming that feeling as a call to listen to myself. I am revisioning that when it happens, it is God allowing the world to press up on me and say to me, there's more, you're more. What is it? What is it in you? What is your voids telling you? Because I've already told you in this conversation who you are. That is not up for question anymore. Now the questions just lie in. Where are you willing and where are you not willing? In, a, in the void is that place where you may currently not be willing. In that unease in your body, if you're willing to tune into it, you will hear that this is just where you're unwilling to see. This is an alarm inside of you built into your own cosmic reality that says, look, be still and feel me. I am the safest place for you. Fear is not here to stop you from moving forward. Fear is here to tell you, make sure that you are aware of the gifts and of the wisdom and of the purposes that are in you so that when you move forward through this, you are doing it in a way that expresses everything you got so that you can bring even this space into bliss so that your experience can blossom into everything that you could imagine. That is the void. That is the void. How beautiful it is. how wonderful it is, how purposeful you are. I wish I had more to say. I actually, 
I probably do have more to say, but I think we're complete. I think today that is enough. As the tears flow down my eyes in joy that I'm stepping up to the void in me, which is not sharing this with you. I have been so voided in my life wanting to share with you what God has shown me that I am, I've, I'm literally, because I have a whole set in my house. Like, guys, I'm serious about this. I want this experience in my life. It's There was something missing in my own life. So I have this whole space in my house that has gone unutilized because fear has said that you don't want to hear what I have to say. But that's not what fear was saying to me. And the void that's inside of me has come in, in the stillness and my questioning. And I'm asking, what is this saying? It's saying, just don't stay to the mic without being yourself. Don't bring to that microphone what you think people want to hear. Bring to that microphone who you are and the power that is invested in you through the universe in its way that allocates beauty and love and, you know, bliss into every soul. Bring that to that microphone or don't do it. That is what my void was saying to me. And so I could go on and curate this and do all the things and, you know, make it all great. I could, you know, really harp on the fact that my air conditioner just came on and you can hear it. (laughs) Or I can let this be perfect, as perfect as it is, because I am fully self-expressed. I am sitting here in my towel because this came to me while I was in the shower and I said this is the moment when I feel connected to myself that I can produce something that is not just worthy to me in my mind but also I feel so aligned that it must be also worthy to God and then for all of those who will hear this that have ears to hear that have hearts that are open or even not if the ears are closed and the hearts are closed let this message be something that allows you to feel like you can open up to me and open up to yourself and open up to the universe and say I am willing to experience in this life the best of me as it comes as it emerges from me I am willing to experience it in the way that it happens organically because that is God God is organic God is organic And today, I offer you the most organic conversation that I could muster from my own soul. I am in full joy. My body is vibrating to its highest level. And I pray and I hope that as you hear these words, that that is happening within you as well. And if there is any conversation that we can have, any conversation that you would like for me to feel in my body and bring through this podcast back to you as an offering for me and my self-expression, fill me up. Give me a reason to exist. Share with me what you want to talk about and we will have that. We will have those conversations. So I... (laughs) I am your host, Oracle Beatty Smith, and this is The Conversation. I love you. Take care.